was the video released by Kensington Palace of Kay Moulton announcing that she had cancer. Real? Or was it generated by artificial intelligence? My family, can you please look at this video posted by someone, my family, on TikTok. My family, can you please look at this, please? I've got about 30 seconds of this video and there are three things I want you to notice. That top shoulder that stays high and never resolves itself. The highlights of her hair don't really change when she moves her head, that's not possible. The other thing, when people talk, your nasolabial folds will move along with you. Notice how hers hardly move and when they, when they try, when they, they don't move here from this angle, ever, ever. Okay, when they start to move here, they glitch. Now I'm specifically trying to speak without using my voice to act like her, but yeah, AI, this is AI. I've got about- My family, that person is saying that the video was generated by AI and she is not the only one. My family, there is something that came out a while ago that I did not discuss. But today, I am going to discuss this. My family, Getty Images, wrote an editor's note on the video released by the palace of Kate announcing that she had cancer. And allow me to read you the Eta's note posted by Getty Images. And my family, these are bombshell claims. These are bombshell reports. My family, can you please hear this? Written by, Ed, by Getty Images. And I quote. The Princess of Wales announces that she is receiving chemotherapy for cancer. London, England, March 22, the day the video was released. Let us note, this handout clip was provided by a third party organization and may not adhere to Getty Images editorial Policy. I repeat the editor's note by Getty Images. This clip of Kay Moulton announcing that she is receiving chemotherapy for cancer was provided by a third party, the taxpayer funded BBC and may not adhere to Getty Images editorial policy. In this hand of video provided by Crystal Palace, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, speaks in a recorded personal video message providing an update on her health recorded on March 20, 2024, in Windsor, and aired on March 22nd, 2024, in London, England. And Kate, the Princess of Wales, had abdominal surgery earlier this year and has revealed that cancer had has subsequently been found. She said she has been receiving chemotherapy and asked for privacy for her and her family. Footage handout via BBC Studios slash Crystal Palace via Getty Images. My family. Now, 
Kingston Palace chose the BBC to film this video. My family. And we all know one thing about the palace. It is that they control the media in Britain. They have their power over the media in Britain. When the palace issues a command or an order, my family, BBC, Daily Mail, Express, The Sun, The Mirror, the carnival of so-called experts will follow the orders of the palace to the T. Completely, my family, they follow the orders of the palace. 100%. And my family, the palace also chose BBC because they know that people in the UK and also some people across the world trust the BBC as a source of information. However, what some people don't really know and understand much really is that the palace also has power even over the BBC. And that's the, not the only thing. That is not the only thing that my family, I just found out. My family, I just found out something else. I found out a company called Deep Media, which has contracts with the Pentagon, analyzed Kate's latest video and said it found a high likelihood that Kate's voice and face were manipulated by AI. However, other experts disagreed with deep media's findings. My family, other experts disagreed with deep media's findings. In my family, I have always told you this. There is something fishy going on behind the scenes that senior members of the royal family are working so, so hard to cover up and protect someone. In this case, I believe Prince William. Everyone right now from Charles to Camilla, everyone in the farm are trying to protect Prince William. The tabloids are trying to keep himself because he must have done something really, really terrible. Really, really terrible. And everyone is trying to cover up for him. I mean, my family, a few days ago, I saw a report that came from the palace, you know, using those palace leaks, from palace sources, whereby they were saying that King Charles is worried and concerned about public relation disaster, Prince William. King Charles is worried and concerned about public relation disaster, Prince William. That's what Charles thinks about his son. Because there must be something bad that happened that everyone is now trying to cover up for Prince William, to protect him, to keep him safe. Because he must have done something very, very terrible to his own wife, King Milton. It is worth noting that in the video released by the palace of my family, K. Moulton, or my family and AI video K. Moulton, saying that Kate has cancer, William wasn't there by his wife's side to support his wife while Kate was announcing that she had cancer. And we know the royal family cares so much about how it looks, not how it feels. They care about how they are viewed, how they are seen. They care about PR. My family, that's what the firm cares about. PR, how they are viewed and seen by the public. That's what they care about so much. And no wonder 
They have so much power over media outlets in Britain from BBC, Daily Mail, The Sun, The Mirror because they know and realize it's important to control the information that my family is being given to the public. You know? The media has the power to shape public opinion about someone. And my family, as you all know, in the royal family, the heirs are protected by the Wikimedia. You know, even if William does something wrong, my family, he is protected. I mean, look at what happened a few days ago. Whereby there's a photo of Harry, William, being my family, you know, in a party, in an after party. After the Ghana concert in 2007 with rapper P. Diddy, who is currently embroiled in a trafficking case whereby he is being investigated, my family. And it's a serious, serious case. The tabloids removed William's picture with Diddy and then used a photo of Harry and Diddy removing Prince William. However, we members of the squad posted the picture of Prince William with rapper Diddy to expose the lies of the Wikimedia and expose the Wikimedia for trying to throw Harry under the bus, for smearing Harry's name to protect and cover Prince William. So the air is protected by the media. The spare is thrown under the bus. My family, that is what normally happens again and again and again and again. It happens so, so oftenly. But thankfully, my family, members of the squad, we don't like it when you give me a lie about Prince Harry. And we always expose the truth. And they don't like us one bit. And that's good. Because you always expose the truth. We always expose the lies of the Wikimedia and Prince William, Charles, Kate, and Camilla. And the fact is, my family, I told you this. The language that was used by Kate Moulton or that AI video, my family, I don't know if it's AI or real. But the fact is, no one has seen Kate publicly for months since last year. That is a fact. I have no idea if that video of Kate announcing cancer, that she has cancer is real or fake. Is real or AI made. I don't know fully, my family. There are people who say it's AI created. There are those who say it's real. My family, I have no idea. What I do know is that nobody has seen Kate ever since last year in December. No one has seen Kate's face publicly. Nobody. Now that is a fact. Now that is the truth and nothing but the truth. Kate has not been seen publicly at all. And my family, if there's one thing that I do know, that none of us should ever do is trust what the palace is saying. Trust what William is saying. Don't trust it at all. William is a liar and so is K. Morton. And my family, I must admit, Kensington Palace, the PR guys, my family are one of the best in the world. I, I must admit, in a way, they are one of the best in the world. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Think about this. A few weeks ago, international picture agencies were basically saying, we are going to treat every photo coming out or coming from Kisto Palace as my family you know, as if we would receive a photo from North Korea. We won't trust it until we fully, fully analyze that video or photo, my family, and then verify if it's authentic. 
That's what international peace agencies said. They compared Kisno Palace to North Korea. And then the palace basically creates a video of Kay Moulton announcing she has cancer. And now everyone is supposed to feel sorry about, you know, asking where's Kay Moulton, about asking about Kay Moulton, about asking where she is, you know, about coming up with, you know, theories on what could have happened to her. Now everyone is supposed to feel guilty. And different, powerful, and famous celebrities like Stephen Colbert were being asked to say sorry about repeating, repeating claims that Prince William allegedly had an affair with Rose Hanbury cheating on his wife Kim Moulton. Tabloids were trying to get Tim Colbert to say sorry. And they've been attacking every single person who asked, where is Kim Moulton? Demanding an apology. And what they were really doing is trying to silence any criticism of Kim Moulton. That is what the palace were doing. My family. And you know what? Right now, let's relook the video released by Kingston Palace of Kate or the AI video of Kay Moulton announcing that she had cancer. And my family, once again, I want to remind you, pay attention to the to the words used. To the words used. Remember, those words used were carefully analyzed my family before being released to the public pay attention to the words that my family were used by this video of my family you know Kay Moulton or the AI video my family once again who really knows 100% can you please look at this please my family please it has been an incredible I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and Look at the background. Even the trees, the my family flowers aren't moving it from side to side. Incredibly tough couple of months for our entire That's family. awkward. But I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team... Tests after the operation found cancer had been present. Had been present. You know, I made a video saying that Kimson does not have cancer. And that the words used were well, basically in the past tense. In the past tense. My family. And even when she talks about chemotherapy, she speaks of preventive chemotherapy. My family. She says preventative chemotherapy. Those are the words that my family she uses. And when you look at the term of preventive chemotherapy, my family, you understand that Kate currently does not have cancer. That's what you're able to disarm. Pay attention to the words used in the past tense, my family. In the past tense, you know? My family, can you continue please hearing this please? Found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock. And William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, 
it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well. I'm getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too, as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. At this time, I'm also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. My family, once again, if I'm wrong in any way, if I am wrong and that kid really has cancer, to my family, I issue my deepest apologies. For my family, I don't trust the palace one bit. I'm sorry, but I don't trust K. Moulton one bit. I, I just don't. I do not. I don't. I don't trust K. Moulton. I don't trust Prince William. I don't trust them one bit. And can you blame me? Can you blame me? You know? After all the lies that have been spread by the palace, honestly, can you blame anyone who doubts K. Moulton? Can you blame anyone who doubts Prince William? You cannot. You cannot, my family. You cannot. You can't. You just can't. You can't. You know? And I don't trust them. One bit. I just don't trust them. One bit. You know? Once again, their PR spin doctors are really, really good. Because for this, for this video, everyone was like, no one is going to trust Crystal Palace ever again. They're like North Korea. No one's going to trust them. And then after the video, oh, we are sorry. We are sorry. We are sorry about this and that. We are sorry about asking for Kimoton. You have Wikimedia demanding everyone issue an apology to Kim Moulton. But yet, you commit themselves, bully and abuse her makeup on a daily basis. My family, and they are, and they are never ever sorry. They are never ever sorry about the pain and the hell they put Harry, Meghan, and their kids through. They are never sorry. Harry and Meghan was a child. Have you ever heard any single carnival of so-called expert being sorry to Meghan? No, they are not sorry. They are not sorry. But when is Kim Moulton? When people are asking about her, where she is? Is she alive? My family, Wikimedia, tell you to, to tell you to keep quiet. Don't say anything. Don't ask about her. Give her privacy. When it's Megan, how dare she ask for privacy? How dare she? My family, and that's why I have to call out this level of hypocrisy because it is too much you know in my family as i said about the meaning of the word preventive chemotherapy because my family i have said this you know so so many times my family basically it is said that preventive chemotherapy is also known as adjuvant chemotherapy. It is an early intervention aimed at reducing the risk of cancer recurrence. When you hear those terms being used, what does that tell you? It tells you, you cannot say Kate has cancer. My family, it tells you you can't say that Kate has cancer because she does not have cancer. She doesn't have cancer. Based on the words that my family video, you know, of Kate or if it's AI, my family, whatever, you know, the video showed or said, if it's real or not, 
based on those words my family clearly it shows kate currently does not have cancer she meant she had it and now she's preventing it from coming back that's what my family you know she meant and my family all i can say really here is that no one should trust the parents even getty images my family they've issued their own it is not saying this this video provided by the palace may not adhere to getty images a total policy from getty images and kate hasn't been seen since last year publicly my family something serious is going on something really bad must have happened really terrible must have happened and everyone is trying to cover up for prince william everyone is trying to protect prince william because the mess he made or created for himself my family you know also here one other video or from people who have analyzed that video of my family k morton my family people don't trust that the video is real they do not they do not my family and guess what i don't blame them and no one should blame anyone who doesn't trust this video my family of k morton my family if it's ai or real or fake my family who knows who knows who can confirm 100% fact that it's real or fake it appears that nobody can my family but people have questions people have questions and the palace should answer those questions my family can you please hear this please Kate's teeth keep jumping around this video just like Britney she's got little chiclets here and here her teeth move again her nose is crooked her mm -hmm. nose is crooked here too her teeth have changed again mm -hmm. oops mm -hmm. her teeth are full of holes again mm -hmm. and back to good teeth it's not Kate and let's talk about the hairline yeah no maybe no mm -hmm. nah it's not Kate praying for Kate my family I do hope that Kate is well for a kid's sake who need their mother, I do hope that she is well. My family, I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Despite all the hell she put Megan through, I do hope that she's okay. She's alive and well. My family, that's my hope. Because if this video is really fake, then my family, then the question should be asking is this, is Kate alive? That's the question that everyone should be asking. My family is if she is my family even alive don't trust the palace don't trust the palace don't trust them one bit they like to lie they like to lie so much don't trust them even one bit nobody should trust william at all my family also please look at another video my family analyzing if that my family video of kate is real or ai my family, can you please look at this? And remember, the palace has the power to hire the best farm ever, you know, top dollar, to create, my family, an AI video that appears to be real, that can deceive people from all across the world. And don't forget also, they have UK Media in their pockets. Don't forget that, because that is fundamental. My family, please hear someone else also putting doubt on that video if it's real or my family fake or AI generated my family or AI generated my family. Please kindly look at this also, okay, so my family, I, please. Okay, so I took the new Kate cancer video and I slowed it down frame by frame and I see hmm. her eyes popping out of her head as a digital mistake mm. and i truly believe personally mm. my personal opinion mm. 
is that this is an AI video. And if you watch to the end of this video, it's super important. There's a seven year old video from YouTube with her wearing the exact same clothes, having the exact same hair, which they probably fed to the AI to make this video. Mm. It's a very good video. Mm. Probably the best AI available to hu humankind. Mm. Uh, but her eyes are changing color. I caught a couple glimpses of it. Mm. Um, you can do this yourself. Don't trust me. Put this in super slow motion, run mm. it through frame by frame. You will see mm. her eyes popping out of her head, mm. mismatching, changing color, mm. as well as none of the background moves, which we know mm. is a green screen. Don't trust the palace. Don't trust the palace. Don't trust the palace one bit. Don't trust Prince William one bit. Do not trust him. Do not trust him even one bit. There are so many headlines coming out. Seeing that Charles believes that William is unfit to be king. Other headlines are talking about William, you know, drinking so much alcohol. And we all know he has a huge temper. My family, whatever is going on behind the scenes, I, all, I, I just know that William is responsible for whatever is going on behind the scenes. He did something wrong and the palace are trying to cover up for him. And look at media. All they can think of is getting William's, you know, scapegoat, Prince Harry, back. To come back and once again cover for Prince William. To be a distraction for Prince William. To protect him, the heir. Harry, do not take the bait. Harry, do not take the bait. My family, once again, even if a company which has contract the Pentagon is saying that this video of Kimothon is AI. Other experts are saying it's real. So my family, we can't fully verify if the video is real or not. We have no idea. I, I can't tell you it's real or if it's fake. One hundred percent. I I can't tell you that. But what has been going on is extremely suspicious. And the level of spinning that has gone on from the ballet right now. My family, no wonder the spin doctors are one of the most paid people in the palace. Because clearly, they need it. They need them. My family. They need them. And just think about how the story has, has changed my family. Think about how the story changed. From the palace, Crystal no Palace, being compared to North Korea, to somehow, you know, we are sorry, Kim Moulton. And no one has asked for proof or evidence to confirm that indeed Kim Moulton, you know, my family had cancer. No one has asked for proof, my family. And of course, some would say that indeed medical records are private. My family is true, it's private. But after all the lies, the palace has spread. Honestly, you know, my family, you can't be too trusting of them. You, no, not even too trusting. You can't be trusting at all of anything that comes out from the palace, from senior members of the family like Kimuton, William, Charles, and Camilla. And the reason we don't trust them is because they have lied so much, so many times about Henry Megan. And also, don't forget about the fake photo posted on Mother's Day of Kate and the kids. My family, they can't be trusted. They cannot be trusted. You know? And my family, that is what I have to say. And my family, I really hope the palace aren't lying. And they've used the C word, the big C, to sanitize the image. I really hope they are not lying. But honestly, I would expect nothing less from William, Kate, Charles, and Camilla. And I say that with so much sadness. You know, the hell they put Halimigan through has showed us exactly just who they are. And they have never ever been good people. Kate, William, Charles, Camilla have never ever been good people. Do I believe that they are capable of lying that Kate has cancer? Yes, I do. And actually, to be fair to them, 
based on the words they used. Right now, you can say, Kate doesn't have cancer. However, everyone, because they had chemotherapy, they're like, okay, Kate has cancer. Based on the words used, she doesn't have cancer right now. She had it, but now she doesn't have it. It's my family, but every media outlet is like, Kate, you know, has cancer. She doesn't have cancer. My family, she doesn't have cancer. The palace is doing that because they believe when, let's say someone finds out the truth, that Kate doesn't have cancer, they can say, we told you, she was undergoing preventive chemotherapy, meaning that Kate doesn't have cancer, and any cancer she had was removed during surgery. The palace can say that. They can say that. You know? But right now, no one should say that Kate has cancer because she doesn't. She does not. Based on the words used by the palace, not my words, based on the key words used. You know, Kate said she had been, you know, cancer had been, you know, found. Had been. Had been. Then she used preventive chemotherapy. Preventative chemotherapy. Those are the words used by Kate Moulton. And based on those terms used, clearly it shows Kate doesn't have cancer right now. And my family, you know, don't let the palace deceive you or lie to you. Don't allow yourself to be lied to. Those words, my family, before it's even, you know, released, that statement, before it's even released, my family, clearly the palace, you know, spin doctor sat down and thought about what they're going to say. So my family, you know, right now, I can just say that nobody should ever, ever trust, you know, the palace even one bit, you know. However, I must add, that Kiss of Paris has said that the video is real. My family, that's what the palace has said, that the video is real. And my family, I don't trust the palace, so whatever they say is their business, but I just don't trust them. And I have a right not to trust them. My family, you tell me kindly your thoughts about what we have just discuss out your opinion. May God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Bertana and Doria Ragland. And all of you members who got at home. He never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned for our next video. Love you also forever. May no weapon formed against Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Bertana ever prosper. He never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to our next video. My family. I wish Kate healing. You know, completely. I wish her healing completely. That's what my family I wish her. And I do hope she's, you know, alive and well. That's my hope. She has a family to take care of, and I hope that my family she's able to, you know, take care of her family, her kids. You know, they need their mother. And I really hope she's okay. But my family, I don't trust her. And I don't trust William. And I don't trust Charles. Or Camilla. Or the Ukimiya. I don't trust them one bit. No one should. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you, awesome forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.